let's go ahead and look at 15 things that you could be taking advantage of for free. You know, free 99. We all love a good deal and free sounds good to me. So I saw this article from KO. BOSense.com. I'm assuming it's KoboSense.com. You can feel free to go and check it out. But they talked about free things that you can be taken advantage of. And I was like, you know what? I'm always good and here for a good free item. So I was like, let me check this out and see exactly what they're saying. Now, some of the things that I already knew about, some things that was a reminder to me about, oh yeah, that is, I can't get that for free. Or I do need to look into that. So Definitely make sure you check out these things right here. This article was written in September 2024, and it says 15 things that are now free, so stop paying for them. So if you are paying for any of these things, cut it out, okay? Go ahead and save those coins. Put, those, put that money towards something else. Maybe you got to put that money towards debt. Maybe you need to put it towards your savings emergency fund. Maybe you need to put it towards your sinking or your purpose funds. Maybe you want to put it towards a vacation. Maybe you want to put it towards some self-care. This will be the way in order to do it. So let's go ahead and look at this article and see exactly what it is talking about. The first thing that it says is a movie. Now, it talks about Tubi. Am I the only one that has not actually watched a movie on Tubi? Comments below and let me know if I'm the only one, okay? I'm hearing so much about Tubi, but they are saying that this is one of the favorite movie app, movie apps for them and it's free application. Um, so it has some popular movies on here, such as The Conjuring, Lady Bird, Donnie Darko. It also talks about other free apps such as YouTube, Crackle, and Roku. Now we did have Roku, or do we still have Roku? You know, we switch in and out of the streaming services, so... Oh, no, it's Netflix that we don't have anymore. But so we still have um, Hulu and a couple other ones. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to be checking out Tubi now. Everybody always talks about the movies on there. Next, it talks about music as one of the things that, hey, stop paying, stop paying for that. All right. Because you can go on SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, Pandora, iHeartRadio. I have had a, well, actually, I have a Spotify account. I have the free version of it, but I know that you can go ahead and upgrade for like the premium so that you don't have to pay for the ads and stuff because that can get very annoying when you're just trying to go to the next song that you enjoy and that you love. I listen to YouTube music a lot as well. I don't really mind the ads, you know, between the songs on there, but definitely if you are paying for music and you don't necessarily have to and you don't mind the ads, just go ahead and go to one of these sources here for your music. Next, it talks about news. That is the third thing that it says that you don't have to pay for that you can get for free. And, you know, getting the news digitally has been a thing for quite some time because hard copy paper newspapers are have basically died off. I do see them at the local grocery stores and then also at the Dollar Tree, but the people that I know that get the newspaper, it's mostly mainly for the coupons that are in there. Not so much to read the stories because we're in such a digital age, everything goes really quick. So getting that news online is like basically the way to go. So it basically says that the internet functions as an endless stream of news, which is true because you get breaking news in real time, every single time. So if you are paying for it, cut it out. Fitness is number four. YouTube and TikTok receives a lot of backlash, though they provide amazing resources for zero compensation. I used a video, or I actually did a video while I was gone on vacation back in July for jump roping. <laughs> I know. I was trying to mix up my routine other than what I was doing for my Apple Fitness. And I will say it was good. I mean, it had an ad or two every now and then, but it was a good jump roping exercise that I did for 30 minutes. You can literally find any type of fitness or workout that you need to. So you don't really need a gym membership. You can go on YouTube, TikTok, other platforms in order to find and help hit those fitness goals that you have. Next, we have language lessons, not my technology students, but other students that use the Duolingo. That is one of the programs that they enjoy. They use Duolingo in order to help learn other languages. And so they're always asking to go on there, even if it's not for the languages that they're learning at school, but just like maybe something else. 
And that is number five. Number six, it talks about music lessons. Now, this was something that I wasn't really like on my radar because I've never played a musical instrument. So I know probably many of you all that have played musical instruments or started with it, you know, may have went on to YouTube to get a little bit more knowledge about certain instruments as well as how to play them, different chords, maybe something that you were struggling with. And so, yeah, music lessons online are the way to go. It says, I play guitar and my favorite free guitar teachers are Guitar Zero Two Hero, The Groovy Guitar Dude, and B. Martin. So I'm sure that you guys can find all of that online if you did not already know so. Next for number seven, which is something else that you don't need to pay for is a credit score report. There are three bureaus that you can get your credit report from, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. You can get a free report for them every single year just to make sure you are keeping track and up to date with what is on your credit report, what your score is, maybe to look and see if there's something on there that should not be on there. So Hey, don't pay for it. So if you see like a website that says, oh, pay us $29.99 or $19.99 or the special of $9.99, those are most likely scams, all right? You can go to annualcreditreport.com and get yours for free. All three of them, at least one time a year, okay? Which we should be checking up on our credit score and our reports anyway, just to make sure everything is good. Number eight here, it says counseling now, I know that there are online counselors. However, I've never knew that they were actually free ones. This one does say use caution when searching for a counselor. This is mental health after all, yet free resources are out there for those struggling or looking for guidance. So it does say here, opencounseling.com is a resource that finds low cost or free therapy based on individuals wants, needs, and locations. So, you know, just make sure with any website or anything that I'm sharing here that you vet it, that you make sure that it is a legit company, a legit site, and that there's nothing fishy or anything going on with it before you actually, you know, start divulging and giving out information. Okay, because after all, it is personal information that you are sharing. So you want to make sure that you are safeguarding that as best as possible. But it does provide a resource here. Just make sure that you're checking it out. Number nine is reading one of my favorite things to do. And I started going back to the library over the summertime. I was actually taking one of my books with me on vacation and I have been reading consistently except for the month of September and here in October because it's been a bit crazy. But the library was nice enough to go ahead and renew my book for me <laughs> until the end of this month, which I'm going to have to end up renewing it all over again. But if you are paying for books, stop. Although I will say I love getting books from Barnes and Nobles. I normally go to like the clearance section first and then I'll see what they have in the regular sections. But I actually love the physical copies of books. I know that they have audio books out right now. Let me know in the comment section, are you an audio book person or are you a physical hard copy book person? Let me know. But you don't have to pay for the books if you don't want to. You can always borrow them from the library get you a library card. It is absolutely free. Free 99. Remember, we're talking about things that are free here. All right. So go to the library, have your titles that you want to get, your books that you want to get, make sure that they're not checked out. And if they are checked out, you can be put on a waiting list to get them when they get checked back into the library. So then we have eBooks here and it said virtual libraries materialize on websites like Project Gutenberg, free ebooks, and many books. It talks about here where you can get ebooks. So even if you don't want to do the audio or the hard copy, you can get the ebooks, download it. I know Kindle has them as well. I've gotten books from there and, and read them. I've also looked at books here on my iPad. And it that works out well too, but like I said, I like the physical copy, but this gives you some options for ebooks also, especially if you are traveling and maybe you don't want to have a bulky book with you. If you have your iPad or your tablet, it works out perfectly. Number 11 is smoke detectors. It says many fire stations will give out free smoke detectors to ensure the highest quality of safety and protection. Now, guys, did you know that? I may be the last one on earth that actually found this out. Because I've always just thought that 
If you wanted it, you paid for it, <laughs> pretty much. If you do not have a smoke detector or a carbon monoxide detector in your home, please get that. There's so many people that have been harmed from the carbon monoxide poisoning because they did not know that something was going on and or fires. So it's super important that you have those. In addition to, I would also say, have a fire extinguisher at home. It does not have to be a large one. We have one that we keep up under our sink in our kitchen, but have that at home as well. In addition to smoke detectors. Now you will have to pay for the fire extinguisher, for sure, but you don't have to pay for the smoke detector because you get it from your local fire station it's even better, right? Next, we have a number 12 of things that you don't have to pay for is free museum days. Now, I do know this for sure. They do have this here in the area where I am at. I have not taken advantage of it. Normally on those days, it's when everybody is there. So, you know, you have to plan that out well <laughs> before you actually go. But it's something to definitely take advantage of, especially if you have a large family or if you just want to find something that you want to do for the day. and Or maybe there's a special exhibit or display that is there. This would definitely be a way to go because, you know, museum prices can be kind of pricey. Also, take advantage of any type of civil service, government, workplace, employee, healthcare job benefits that you can get because I believe for myself I can get not free museum classes but on certain days it's like a discount because I am a teacher and also because I'm a veteran make sure you are looking at all of those benefits and things even if it's not free for the day next we have parks we have national parks but this is also something that you can take advantage of. You are looking to see and research which national parks that you're able to get into for free. And that way you can get in and enjoy yourself and get out there and enjoy nature. Okay. Get some vitamin D while you're out there. Number 14 is kids meals. We all know how expensive it is to eat out. So anytime that there's a kids eat free I'm there and I'm here for it. I used to do this all the time with my oldest. <laughs> Not so much now with my youngest because I swear he wants full grown meals, right? <laughs> so, but there are several places where you can go where kids eat free, especially on certain days. All right. So it says at Denny's kids eat free as long as an adult purchases $6 of food or more. And it talks about at IHOP, kids eat free between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. each day, which is really, really nice. If an adult purchases a meal, Moe's Southwest Grill gives out free kids meals on Sundays when they are buying an adult meal. So you may have to buy an adult meal with it, obviously, because who else is going to be taking the kid, right? You can go ahead and purchase the meal, maybe split it up eat half that day, eat half another day, and then also your children get a chance to go ahead and eat free as well. And there's no cooking in the kitchen, all right? All right, and the last one is birthday treats. I mean, because, hello, it's my favorite holiday. So yes, I have done this before where I have signed up. There are people that scout out and make sure that all their favorite places that they love to go, that they go ahead and get on the sign up email mailing list and that when their birthday comes around, they either get discount codes or they get free food or they get free drinks. And that day, it's like they go on a national free birthday. I'm going to get my incentives rewards tour <laughs> and get all of the things. I remember a cheesecake factory used to give you like a free cheesecake for your birthday. I believe they still do that while you're in the restaurant. But this is an awesome way to get free items that normally you would be paying for on your special day because you should be treated on your special day. I know that when I go to Ulta, I normally get a free item every year for my birthday that I can go ahead and choose from based off of what they have. And I've never been dis disappointed with those, as well as it talks about Sephora. Krispy Kreme gives out three donuts on the customer's birthday. And then Panera also donates a fee free pastry, which I never knew that. And I love Panera bread. Like if you followed me before, you know that I love Chick-fil-A and I love Panera bread. Like those are probably like two of my top two 
restaurants to go out to eat at fast food or chain restaurants to go to. But yes, so this was the article. I thoroughly enjoyed reading it. And it also gave me some reminders of things that I need to write down and also look at for the upcoming 2025 year and beyond as far as the things that are now free and that you don't have to pay for. So I hope this article was helpful to you and it was also a reminder to you. Maybe these are some of the things that you have not signed up for or maybe you've been paying for some of these things. You can go ahead and stop paying for them now, okay? Save that money. Save that money, honey. Guys, if you happen to enjoy this video and this article, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are not already done so and if you are a returning bacon bit squad member thank you guys so much for being here and sprinkling what those bacon bits in the comment section until the next video guys bye